Going into Shoreline, dubbed up, is a great way to make money in Tarkov. It avoids the heavy traffic going on at Lighthouse at the moment. Grab one of these big boys from Jaeger for 8,000 rubles. I've only got body armor because, well, I need to get rid of it. It could probably stop one bullet. Magnum buckshots, flechette rounds, or AP-20s, whichever one of those three you can get your hands on will be perfect. Put 20 in your butthole, 10 in your pocket. This is for a quest, so ignore that. I've got some keys, that's where I just spent all my money. You got meds to survive the run, and he's got a big ass bag to stuff it full of all the shit you loot from the gremlins you take out. We're gonna go into Shoreline at two o'clock in the fucking morning. We're dubbed up, of course we're gonna insure it. Wait, you can't insure it? Really? There you go. Let's fucking go. All right, boys, we are in. Shoreline, two o'clock in the fucking morning. And I think it's raining. God damn it. Head straight to the resort. Doesn't matter where you spawn. Just head to the fucking resort. You want to get indoors as soon as you can. Because when you're dubbed up, the, uh, the closer your victims are, the better chance you have of just absolutely fucking destroying them. Normally, I would go in, like, literally naked. I wouldn't even bring a bag. I would just bring some shells and the shotgun. But I've got way too much stuff in my stash. I've been hoarding pretty hard this wipe. So, uh, that's why I've got body armor, a headset, and a bag at the moment. But... In future videos, when I am dubbing up in Shoreline and Custom Storms, I will be bringing less and less gear with me and coming out with all the benefits, which is essentially just anyone that comes into the raid with me, just bring it in gear for me. That's the way I look at it. I hit this secret stash over here on the way. I try to avoid the one at the top there because most of the time, especially later in the wipe, you just get sniped by someone with thermal, so I just try not to fuck with that unless I'm leaving. All right, okay, okay. Look at that, hey? Eh? Let's just put that in our butthole straight away. Not fucking bad. Any weapon we pick up in the raid, we can use. So we do have an, an MP, what is this, an MP9 now? I'm not gonna fucking use it, but it's there if we need it. If you see me all tabbing constantly while uh, through the video, it's just because I'm flicking over to my other screen. Gotta keep the, uh, the RuneScape account wood cutting. Stay on the grind. Oh, there's someone right there. It's a scav, I think. I hope it's a scav. I'm fucking running at him. Oi, might be Rashad. Oh, what's his name? Is, is it Sturman on this map? If it is, I'm gonna die the second I run. We should be okay. Straight up to 36. There you go. So some money. Normally I'd go to um, the, the weapon and rare item spawn on second floor first. Then I'll go piggy room or cultist room, some people call it, up the top here. And then I'll go 36. But just in case that that was actually a player, which it shouldn't be, we take 36 first, we can snag an early graphics card. HDDs are like huge. Get the hard drives there for AP20 rounds when you got max uh, workshop. It used to be, I think it was two, maybe four hard drives for. It was four hard drives for 80, 80 AP20 rounds. I could be wrong on that though. But it was pretty much my main source of AP20s, which honestly makes this this dubbed up fucking grind a hell of a lot more cheesy. This one right there, it's a scab. Yeah, for sure. That's good. So what we're going to do is actually leave the scab down there because he will alert me, essentially, if, if someone else rocks up. I'll know they're here. So I don't like to push scabs. That can essentially just be used as bodyguards for me. Right. So we'll check this body over here. Not a lot of people check this. This is actually a really good spot to look. I've found slicks in this guy before. Um... I found, I don't think I found a lead X. I, th I found something else in him. I can't remember what it was, but, you know, you can have some good shit on him, that dead scav, so make sure you check him. And then we'll hit up the piggy room down here. Just have a quick look over the balcony. Make sure there's no, oh, I might get killed by a cultist here. This is a terrible idea. I forgot cultists exist until just now. And if you do see cultists, try to avoid them. They're just not worth it. 
Like, <laughs> when you're dubbing up at least, anyway. Can I unload this shit? Thank you. What ammo is this? Oh, it's dog shit. Put it on the floor. Fuck that. Not worth carrying, mate. Uh, to the piggy room. Check for rare items. Any bitcoins in the ears? On the floor? Nothing. Not bad. Look at that, eh? The reason I do this at night is because less people do show up, but it is also, like, infested with fucking cultists. Right, we'll go downstairs quickly. We will check the rare item spawn. Which I think is room 214. No, 218, 217. Whatever one is. The one with the door down. 219. There you go. And what do we get? We get a clock. You can get defibrillators, lions, lead X's. You can get fucking anything there. So check that out, always. I don't have the key for that room yet, but I think it's still nerfed from last wipe, so I'm not really in a rush to grab it. The big key that I got is room 301, which is the room that gets fucking stormed, so... I like to kind of go check that. I will rush it if I manage to spawn close to the other side of the resort, but otherwise it's just too much competition. We'll go in here and get our breath back and just see if anyone tries to come in. Keep an ear out. I might drop this magnum actually, it's just weighing me down. And I mean, this is a pretty decent amount of loot. I know it's not fucking big bank like you would on something like Lighthouse, but I mean, come on. If I get out alive with this, this is profit. You go in with... I mean, if, if I, mean, I bought a bag, to be fair. So if you bring a bag and a double barrel shotgun, you make profit the second you find a fucking can of condensed milk, mate. So This room's actually pretty lit. 213. I'm going to grab this key. Shut the door behind you. This room's good because you get some, you get some good meds. I probably should have bought my injector case, actually. That's not a bad idea. I think I hear someone. I'm a big fan of VoIP, by the way. If you are in game and you hear me VoIPing on the mic, don't be a pussy. Just fucking yell back at me. Call me a shit cunt. This is a good spot to like tag people coming in. And I, I could be wrong, but I think there's like a red lad's keycard spawn in here. Or well, there at least was. Room 213 West. Someone could probably correct me if they know. Oh, pretty shit spawn in here. Alright, let's uh, go upstairs. Try 301. And now we either die and lose it all, or we go big. The good part about dying is that we're only losing the double barrel in the bag, really, so... I know that it's like, oh, I've got all this loot on me, but if it's found in raid, I don't consider it um, mine until I get out of it. Doesn't hurt to bring a grenade, to be honest, sometimes. Let's have a look. I hate opening this door, because this door, that door right there, I can't zoom in on it, that one there, is always uh, unlocked. And there's, I've found one guy prone here once, I fucked him up, but always check behind the couch. This is the big money room. What do we get? A ratchet. Actually, that's pretty big. I like it. This is the big money room. This is where you find graphics cards sitting like right here. Find all sorts of shit. Salewas. Look at that graphics card right there. Beautiful. Stick that right on my butthole. There's a syringe in front of me. I hope it's a propital. Propitals are probably my, my favorite fucking injector in the game. It is. I love propitals. Get my fucking dick out over them. They're just lifesavers, man. The healing aspect of them. And then, what, the five minutes of painkiller is huge. It's actually pretty big. Hold on, I'm autistic. What am I doing here? Good. A suppressor. Suppressors always go for good money. Alright. So I don't even care if we die now, because that's a graphics card for Bitcoin farm when I get around to making it. And if I don't die, then it's a graphics card for mechanic. Get the quest done. 
I need to get the key for this room. 306. 305 west. Was it 306? I think it's 305, the one for the quest. I need to grab that key when I can. I've only got a few more keys, which are on this floor. Two more keys. One for the safe, one for the room. And then we will dip. I've got two keys. Oh. I thought I saw someone up there then. Tripping balls. It's so dark. I know you probably can't see anything, but I can't either. Don't stress. Um, so on this, on the right side of this wall, there's three rooms all connected. So you only need one key for all three. I've got two keys for out of those three rooms. And on the other side of the wall, though, there's like three different keys you want to grab when you can. But let's go for a fucking jog. I think I've got the key for this door. But I've been using this one because it's... I mean, I want to use up all these charges before I start the other one. Check this out. Close the door. Alright, so you've got weapons. I think you have meds in the next room and this room. And then you have a red key card spawn. And just like items in the room to my right. As well as an RSS, which is used for a quest. So the Glock, I might actually grab that. Um, I don't really need a bandage. I'll eat the Tashonka, fuck it. I don't really know what is like the most valuable when it comes to weapon parts. I just grab what looks good and sell it to Peacekeeper for easy US dollars. It's probably not a really efficient way to play the game, but <laughs> I don't fucking care. I mean, I'll do this run like fucking 10 times a night and make bank, so it doesn't really matter. Blood sets are huge at the moment. Don't really need CPUs. Prop it all again. Yes, sir. Um, let's get rid of this. And we'll get rid of the splint. We, got, we can just make splints. It's not a big deal. And then a red keycard can spawn on this barrel here. Unless it's changed this wipe, it, it should be able to spawn. Is that keck? No. You can get like moonshines on this table. RSS for your quest can spawn here. I, I found maybe three last wipe, but I remember um, Pestily mentioned he hasn't found one in ages, but I definitely found like three last wipe. So it's not very common, but it definitely does spawn. Let's drink some fucking milk. What's in this boy? Fucking nappy! I'm not wearing a nappy, I won't be able to hear anything. Alright. We got one more stop and then we get the fuck out of here. And that is the safe upstairs, I'm pretty sure. Done every oh, I've got downstairs too actually. Downstairs is good for food. We won't go to the food room, but we will go to the medical room. I like to use the double barrel shotgun on single fire. It's really a blessing and a curse. It's damned if you do, damned if you don't. So single fire is great because if you miss, you've got another shot. Um, but double sh double tap is better because if you hit, they're gonna die. It's not a guarantee with single shot. It is with double shot. Well, it's a bigger guarantee at least. So, but if you miss the double tap, you've got to reload. So it's really like a I don't know what the fuck I'm doing situation. SMT is my battle for like six of those now. So I, I think single fire is the best way to do it because you can at least take cover. And it's pretty daunting to have one shot at you still, so I'd rather hit him in the legs, I think. Fuck, I've got no run energy, no way. Two heavy boys. I'll drop this, I think this is shit. It's probably not gonna make a difference, is it? Am I losing or gaining run by walking? It's literally holding still. Oh no, I'm losing it slowly. Damn. Okay. That's just what sucks about early wipe. Check under this book for money. On the shelf for lead X's, nothing. On here for lead X's, nothing. Alright, let me sort out my inventory. I'm probably just gonna drop. I mean, do I really need this fucking barrel? What is this even for? A HK? I'm not going to use a HK. I'm going to get rid of it. I'd rather get out alive. Alright. That is pretty much the run. Now, I will do two, one of two things. I will either run to tunnel. Um, but I'll go through cottage. 
Let's actually make sure there's no cultists out here first before we make it sound like we're actually getting out of here alive. Keep running, keep running, keep running. The amount of times cultists have fucked me up is ridiculous. That was good. Okay. So my two choices now, fucking rain. Um, I'll go right to Lighthouse right now and avoid the scabs. Or I go left three cottage and I loot the safe. I'm gonna go left three cottage though because I'm feeling good. We've got a graphics card, a defib. And if we die we've still got them. Um, so fuck it. We're gonna go we're gonna go through the house and try to search the safe. There's two safes in the one cottage. I can't access the, the main cottage. And then you just get the fuck out and it's uh, easy money. I'm just gonna put out more videos like this. I'm gonna turn the sound down a tiny bit in game, I think, because I think the rain is a bit obnoxious. But yeah. This is a pretty decent money run that me and my mate sorted out last last what We just went in naked at night time with double barrels. We would kill people, use their bags and their gear, and get out of it. But uh, everyone's fiend in Lighthouse at the moment, so it's not a bad idea to bring your own bag, buy some fucking keys, and, and run the map. Especially this early in the white, you get big money. It's not as big, obviously, as Lighthouse pulling fucking three Bitcoins and a couple graphics cards and a lead X, but... I mean... Can you really complain getting this out on fucking shoreline? I haven't run into a single fucking person. And if I do, I light them up the old fucking boom stick because I make sure my, uh, my wood cutting's still going on the, on the RuneScape account. This is how you fucking do it, boys. You make, make big money, you got big puss. I just hope that fucking Sturman isn't here. It is Sturman. No, it's not Sturman. It's Sanitar. I'm sorry. It's Sanitar from fucking earlier. Make sure Sanitar is in here. If he is, we just avoid it. Like, I'm not fighting Sanitar with a double barrel. Not about AP20s. Now, traditionally, if I wasn't doing this sort of run, I'd take a UMP, obviously. It's like a fucking amazing gun. But this is just an example of how good the double barrel is. I mean, I, didn't, I haven't used it in combat, but you know what? The main thing, the best part about double barrel isn't its ability to fight. It's the fact that it's 8,000 fucking rubles and it's 1,000 to insure it. It's 10 grand. You're spending 10 grand to buy and insure it. You're going to get it back on insurance. If you die, no one's going to pick it up. And it's a great item. Just It's a great gun to defend yourself with. You've got Magnums, Flechettes, or what are they called? Fucking AP20s. It's a win-win-win. Another SMT. Look at that. Easy game. There's less risk, which means more reward. Means you can just run this even if you've only got 10,000 rubles. You just run this, you grab a bag from a scab, you fill it up, you get the fuck out. Yeah, we'll take a horse. We've got no running engine now, but that's fine. I do check here as well, actually, because I think Intel can spawn here. And obviously, the computer means graphics card, so always check that. Power cords are big. I love power cords, make me wires. Wires are big money. Huge early white. Why is you sell like 19, 4, 20 early white? You just make them with power cords, you sell them, you'll always make fucking profit. Always get good keys in these jackets, make sure you check them. I got an RB Orb 2 key last wipe, or last raid. And yeah, I'm gonna just upload, like, I'm gonna do, do these runs. I, I do these runs daily. And I'm gonna record maybe one or two of them daily and just uh, upload them. See what sort of loot we get. Show you guys the power of the dubbed up fucking run on Shoreline. I might even go customs if I feel like a little bit of extra PvP. But there's more money to be made on Shoreline. Um, and yeah, use it as inspiration to make money on Tarkov if you're feeling a bit broke, if you don't know what you're doing. Grab a fucking bank rubber rig. Grab a backpack. Dub up. And if you see someone in game, just yell at them, ask, are you fucking dubbed up? They don't reply, you take their fucking legs out. If they do reply, you take their fucking legs out. If you got AP20s, go for the chest. I probably would double tap AP20s to be honest. I'm pretty confident in my aim to just fucking put a hole through some cunt. Got no run energy, but we're really, really close to the end now. We'll search this stash, we'll get out. But as a traditional rule of Tarkov, it isn't over until that extract timer hits zero. Another profit all? Come on! You can't make this up. I'm not gonna take the, the cowman. I would love to, but I'm not going to. The problem I have currently in this game is my stash isn't big enough for all this fucking loot, all this bussy. 
so I'm going to need to sort that out. There might be an extract camper here, so what I'm going to do is get down and I'm going to prone. That sounds silly, right? But if you prone, you can gain run energy while you're still moving. Now, when I stand up, I'm going to lose a lot of that run energy, and that's fine. I want to be able to run still, because when you're getting shot at, the worst thing you can do is stand still or not be able to move. So we've got a bit of run energy. We'll just wait. We'll hold off. We're looking good. There normally isn't a camper here, but there definitely can be. And the one time I don't rely on it, there'll be one. Go for a fucking run. Get out of here. All the way to the fucking end. That, boys and girls, is how you do a fat fucking run on shoreline. And make bank when you're dubbed up, baby! Huge! Look at that! 1.7k XP, we go in fucking dry, we come out soggy. I, I see zero fucking issues with that, mate. Free gra graphics card, a bunch of profitables, which are huge for me at the moment. I can't make them, I don't think. I need level 3 med station, which I'm close to getting. If, you, uh, if you're having trouble making money in Tarkov, that is my recommended strategy. Buy a bunch of fucking shoreline keys. You don't need 301, although it definitely is worth it. Like that 301 key, I just bought for 690,000. Fuck, graphics cards are cheap. It's gonna pay for itself in maybe like 10 raids, provided I don't get fucking killed, so. Pretty fucking huge. Now I just need to find space for all this shit and sell it all. So I'm gonna sell it all quickly. We're sitting on four and a half thousand US and 80,000 rubles, and we'll see how much money we make at the end of it. Decide, uh, depending on what I want to sell. Obviously, I'm not going to sell things like fuel. Uh, graphics card, I'm going to hand in. But most of everything else, I'm going to keep the properties. It's going to be sold. So I'll keep the hard drives as well. They're pretty important. All three of these are full. I need to buy another one. So yeah, we'll do a quick cash check and or price check. And yeah, give me a fucking minute. Alright, for the most part, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm tempted to hold on to the defib because it does mean I can make a lead X in the future. I need a second one and then we can get a thick items case from a quest. So I might hold on to it if I'm honest with you. Um, and the defuel and the hard drives, I need to go through and sort out my junk boxes because these are full of just shit. <laughs> I've got too much stuff to handle here. So um, yeah, but we, I mean, aside from the most of the shit I sold, we still got a DFM graphics card. We made about 120k and 2,000 or one and a half thousand US dollars. Um, and I mean, to be fair, I also did sell stuff to Skia, which you may have seen depending on how I cut the recording. Uh, the main reason I sold things to Skia was because I'm trying to get my money up with him. So I'm happy to take a, a 20k ruble cut if it means I can uh, get level up Skia a little bit earlier. So I mean. Not too bad, to be honest. We came out alive. It's a good way to level up your strength and endurance, obviously, if you do bring less shit with you. Like, I wouldn't bring body armor, typically, so my endurance would come up as well. But honestly, it's a really good run. These are the keys I use. Feel free to grab more or less keys. I do want to try to get 30, I think it's 305 or 306 West as well. So, um, yeah. Until the next video, good luck in Tarkov and dub up, baby. Boy, look at him, goddamn! Fuck me, look at that boy. It's huge!